Um, just want to remind everyone, and so excited to see so many people on here this evening. A um, couple of things. Um, our senior year, I know that we all get the itch to, we're so close, and mom and dad, this class doesn't even count. Um, yeah, they all kind of count in regards to scholarships and getting our credits and moving forward, as Ms. Burns Holcomb will tell you. Um, so um, if you're signed up for the class, we expect you to be there and we expect you to do well in the class. Um, I know that getting back from COVID, even my internal time clock has been kind of thrown for a loop. I don't know about other parents there, but it's been it's been a, an adjustment. Um, for our kids as well, you know, our students returning seniors, I need them to, to lead the way in regards to being back on time from lunch, um, you know, being on time for school. Um, we just want to prepare them for the adult world. You know, a lot of times the kids are like, Mr. Why are you giving me a hard time? Uh, because I, I just want to be, see them be so successful. So school starts at 825. Um, I need them back from lunch. We give them the opportunity to go off campus for lunch. Um, but again, seniors, uh, what I'm not going to do is have you consistently come back late from lunch. And if I need to, you know, that's a privilege to be able to have an open campus lunch, not a right. Uh, and, I, you know, just parents know that if there becomes a pattern of habitual attendance, then we, then we do take that privilege away. Um, if you have attendance recovery from last fall or last spring that needs to be completed this fall. So let's say you passed a course, but you missed uh, more days than you were allowed to. We have attendance recovery going all the way until the end of October. Um, parents, you know, students can do projects and work, uh, you know, come up on Saturdays to make up for those absences that they occurred in the spring. If they did get COVID or there was an extenuating circumstance, we do have an extenuating circumstance kind of appeal form that we would ask that you, you fill out. Other than that, we're here to support you and your student along the way. If um, something does come up and they do have to be out of school or they're quarantined, uh, same thing will go. We'll still have uh, the you know extenuating circumstance um, appeal form and move forward. But the biggest thing as a senior, don't procrastinate, stay on top of things. And that way you can participate and enjoy your senior year. I, I've been very pleased with the leadership and the start to the school year. So, uh, you know, I think good things will continue. Uh, as we move forward. So again, thank you, parents. Uh, just again, appreciate you all so very much. Do you have two questions in the chat? The first question was, if a student wants to go and visit a trade school, can that count as one of the two absences for college visits? And yes, is the answer to that. And the next question is, what if you get good grades in classes, but you lose credit because of attendance? Will there be attendance recovery for this year? So the question is, yes, there's attendance recovery for the for the fall. The problem is in the spring, attendance recovery always comes after the last day of school. And the last day of school is usually right around when graduation is. So you don't want to have extra attendance because there's not attendance re recovery, many attendance recovery opportunities for the spring. So um Yes, we do have attendance recovery for the fall. I would definitely say in the spring, you want to really, really, really closely monitor your attendance. Thank you. So any other attendance related questions, if you want to put them in the chat and we'll come back to those um, at the end of the meeting. So our next section that we're going to talk about is EOC tests. So students who have not passed all five in EOC tests are not on target to graduate. EOC tutorials, dates, and times will be announced soon, and retesting will take place in December. So it's really important that if you have not passed all of your EOC tests, that you do take those makeup tests in December and you stay on top of it. Be talking to like your English, your US history, or the teachers, biology, algebra, the ones that have the EOC courses. But we'll also be reaching out to you if you're in that boat and you need to go through and make up any of the EOC tests. And, and one thing to keep in mind, parents, uh, regarding the EOC testing is, let's say your child um, doesn't pass every EOC test. In order to graduate from the state of Texas, you have to 
pass at least three tests. So the tests are English one, English two, algebra, biology, and US history. Out of those five, you have to pass at least three. If you pass three of them, you can do projects to replace the remaining two. However, if you fail to take the test, so if you don't take the test in December, you're like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Then you no longer qualify for the project. Uh, we have had some kids not qualify due to this and not be able to graduate. So it is imperative that you test and show up to test for every uh, testing opportunity we have regarding EOCs. Thank you. So next we're going to talk about our Go Center. And Ms. Burns Holcomb, if you can also let us know, can you take those two days consecutively, like if you're going to visit a college out of state, and then if you want to introduce your staff? Yes, you can. And I'm, um, I just want to say the Go Center is located right at the front of the school. And we're the go-to place for anything um, after your plans for after college. And so, which includes financial aid, scholarships, applications to college, applications to um, scholarships, all, all kinds of anything related to after high school, we can help you with military, um, everything like that. And then we have three new team members and I'm gonna let them introduce themselves real quick. They're all here, I noticed. Mm -hmm. Hi everyone, I'm Jack Moraglia. I'm one of the uh, college and career advisors and we've already had a chance to meet a bunch of your uh, children and they, they've been great students. Um, and we're really excited to get to help them figure out what they're doing after high school. Hi everyone, um, I'm Fabiola Campos. I'm also one of the college and career advisors at the Go Center. Um, and we will be putting our contact information in the group chat um, along with what caseload we have. We split the seniors up by last name, so make sure to take a picture so you know who to contact for questions. And I'm Carlo Guerrero. Um, the Go Center is a, you know, like a place where we take into account and we want to kind of challenge the students to think about the next steps in their, in their life and to think beyond just uh, the graduation day. So we want to make sure that, you know, your students are ready for, uh, ready to have a plan and are ready to implement it when graduation comes around. Um, yeah, and so just a few things we wanted to say were that we want you parents to know that who we are and that we're there as a resource so that you can encourage your children to come see us. Uh, we also want to emphasize that a lot of these future college, career, post high school things are uh, family decisions and we respect that and wanna make sure that we encourage you to have conversations with your, your children about what they're planning to do and support them and kind of make those decisions um, because the, the four of us in the GO Center, um, we, can, we wanna help uh, with the process but at the end of the day, the student, your children, and you all have to also pull the weight and um, help them get there. So we'd love to work as a team with y'all. Yes, and parents are welcome to come to the GO Center and we'll be happy to work with you too. Yeah, um, another really important thing to mention during this meeting is that um, FAFSA is the financial aid um, kind of gateway into scholarships and college financial aid. Um, that does open October 1st, and it is a requirement for all of your seniors. Um, it does include filling out an online application that does ask for family income status, um, parent and guardian tax information. So just wanted to make sure that you guys were aware that that is coming up and that is information that we will be um, requiring for students to have in order to fill that out. And we do have a family FAFSA night that will be October 5th. So mark that in your calendars and we will be providing more information later on about that. Um, we have a couple of questions in the chat. Um, if we reach out to the students or if they have to come to the Go Center. So um, the Go Center does deal with a lot with outreach. So we are going to the students and you know making sure that um, they know that these resources are available to them. 
Um, but we also want to encourage, um, you know, parents to to push their children to, you know, come to the Gold Center and seek out those resources. Um, so FAFSA and TASFA was already, or FAFSA was already mentioned. We also have TASFA, which are, you know, feder FAFSA is a federally um, funded um, way to, to get students through college to help them find those funds. So grant monies, which is a way for them to get money that they don't have to pay back, as well as work study, which is a way for them to work their way through college and loans, which is, um, you know, money that they have to pay once they graduate back. Um, there's uh, so federally and and Texas are so federally is is only available to citizens and residents permanent and residents and as a way to remedy that there's a separate application that can be um, filled out by you know non citizens or you know people that don't meet those requirements and the Go Center is a safe place for for that and for those people and me myself and Ms Campos are bilingual uh, resources for those students as well. Um, and a couple of documents that you guys will need in order to start working on this application is a copy of the, your W-2, your 2020 tax return. And if your student is a male, he will also need a selective service card. And um, you can have them come by the Go Center if they need help, or if you guys need help, you guys, uh, you parents are more than welcome to stop by as well. And we do help students with trade school. So we've helped a lot of students apply and get accepted to trade school. Oh, thank you, Ms. Holcomb. That's something I forgot to mention. This so also goes towards, towards trade school. Okay, perfect. We also had a question in the chat. Is the TSI mandatory? It's not mandatory, but it's certainly something that we would encourage you to take to find out, you know, uh, the TSI basically determines whether or not you have to take remediation courses in college. And, you know, our goal is for you not to have to do that. So take the TSI, find out what your strengths are. Maybe you won't already qualify and you don't have to take any of those remediation courses. But I just want to point out, parents, um, you hear a lot of trade schools are kind of advertised and stuff. Tarrant Community College offers a lot of trades um, and certifications in which people can get you know, start it and start to work and make some of that money and, and get right after it. So, um, you know, so often we still hear from kids, what do you want to be? I want to be a doctor. I want to be a lawyer. I, I, a lot of times I think they're telling us the answers we want to hear. Um, I don't, all I want to hear, for, and I have four children, so I feel, and they are all either just getting out of college or in college. What I want to hear is, dad, I am not going to live at your house forever. That's that's the number one goal for me. And that means they're going to have some skill that's going to go and make them employable. And uh, we're just going to continue to try to work with them to find those things. So that's what our ghost center is set up for. Not, uh, I think Carlos said it's a safe space where we are trying to determine what we can best do to make sure that we match your child's interest and what they want to do for a skill or, or for their first career um, with the training that's necessary. So I hope you take advantage of it. That's why we put it right in the front of the school and made it uh, one of our marquee spaces because truly I think it's one of our most important endeavors we do uh, in preparing students for life after high school. Great, we had a couple of other questions. Um, the first one is, Will you all help with the GI Bill? And then another question was, how do students sign up to take the TSI? The TSI is an on-demand test. So whenever the student is ready, they can sign up and go to a testing center and take the TSI. Great. And Thank I you. believe... I believe that will be a TSI hosting site again, so that for those people where transportation uh, may may come into play, Ms. Ms. Burns will get with everyone and let us know what dates we'll be offering TSI here at Southwest High School. Yes. Um, the GI Bill is, uh, we can certainly get you information through our Go Center, but we also have Colonel Van Zant in our JROTC program that can connect you with uh, Army or whatever um, branch of the military recruiter you would like to, and then they certainly can sit down with you and um, 
go over opportunities for the GI Bill. Um, if you have specific questions regarding your um, personal finance information, I know that's always <clears throat> something that is stressful as you move forward and having uh, three college age students right now and two of which are in college. Um, I know that burden is, is heavy. So uh, please know that your finances and your financial information are something we take very private and, and we keep very, con you know, um, concealed to just the needs of our, and we're, we're working for you to benefit you. So please know that that information remains very secure with us. And we had two more questions. Is the TSI skill a test more of a skillability test or an interest test? And then the next question is, is FAFSA household income or just parent income? I'll let Ms. Burns answer the FAFSA question and I'll, the, I'll start with the TSI real quick. TSI is absolutely a skill-based uh, assessment. Um, if you're um, more interested in uh, an interest level test, I would recommend taking the ASFAB. Uh, the ASFAB uh, is a career, you know, often associated with uh, career and uh, military test, but it's really a uh, interest level test to kind of match your skills with some areas that they see benefiting. Yes, you can use that score to uh, go into the military, but the ASFAB is a uh, excellent um, kind of combination of skill and interest. But the TSI is, is purely uh, skill based. Ms. Burns? Okay, so for FAFSA, it takes parent income. It's kind of tricky if they're, um, it's more on a personal basis because if they're married or divorced, it depends on that and who you're living with more than 50% of the time. So it's, it's yeah, so we would need to do that on a step-by-step, person-by-person basis. Great, any other questions that you might have for the Go Center, if you wanna just type those in the chat and then they can try and monitor, Ms. Burns Holcomb will try and monitor along with her staff and respond to those in the chat. So the next thing we're gonna to move towards is with our counselors in the class of 2022 Remind. So if any of the counselors want to speak up and tell us a little bit about the Remind and how you all will use that. I think I saw Ms. Hernandez and Ms. Simmons. So the Remind is just, good, good evening, everybody. I, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a way, it's a text messaging system um, that I can access on the computer and the students can access on their phone. Parents can sign up for this in, with the same link. Um, your students also have the link and, and they will get on-demand information. As, it, as it's released to me, I release it to the students. So um, this is one really, really good way to stay in touch and um, about with everything. So you're gonna get scholarship, sometimes scholarship information, whether it be oh meetings God. or anything else. Yeah, so it's a good way to stay in touch. <laughs> Yeah, but if you ever want to get in touch with me for anything, um, always email as well. I mean, that's like the best way to stay in touch is email. Okay, but the text messaging is a quick way to kind of touch base with one another. Great. Thank mm -hmm. you. And in the chat, if you look in the chat, it will tell you all of the codes to join. And it is based on last names because there's a limit to how many people can be in, a, in each individual remind. But all those groups will get the same information. So she'll send you know, every part of the alphabet, the same information. So the next thing is just um, your senior class sponsor this year is Michelle Riley and also Angela Constance. So they'll be working with you closely for the rest of the school year about all the wonderful activities and keeping you on track. We will have a senior class meeting on Friday during school. So that will be for the students. And following that meeting, we're gonna send out to the parents and students a, all the information that we go over today. So you'll have a hard copy that you can see everything that we talked about as well as contact information for all of us. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is the class of 2022 events, which I know a lot of the seniors are excited about for this year. So a lot of our spring events, the details are still to be determined, but we do have a date for prom that's May 26th. And that is a Thursday, but it's also a five day weekend. So there should not be school on Thursday, Friday, or Monday. Tickets will be somewhere between $60 and $70 a person. 
and prom will be held at the Bowden, and that's actually in Keller. Lockout will be at 930, meaning students cannot arrive past 930, so they need to be there by 930. And dress code is strictly enforced, and as we get closer to prom, Ms. Riley will have all sorts of pictures for you and describe to you what is allowed, what is not allowed. We like to keep it just classy and make sure that everyone looks nice and it's an appropriate event. Also, senior shirt is to be determined, so we'll be working on that. There will be, um, she's planning a senior field day as well as a walk of honor as in graduation practice. As we get closer to graduation, we'll have all of those dates. The district is the one who selects our graduation date, time, and location, and that doesn't happen until January. So we'll let you all know as soon as we know when that will be happening in January. And next is cap and gown ordering information from Herf Jones, and I think Corey is with us. So Corey, if you want to speak up and say hello and give us your info. Uh, am I there? All right, thank you. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, so my name is Corey Schneider and I represent a company called Herf Jones. So um, we'll be the ones working with your seniors on uh, cap and gowns and graduation announcements, class rings, um, all those things that you can celebrate um, your senior. Um, everything we do is is custom. So there's there's um, you know the custom stole that goes with the gown. There's there's custom rings. The announcement has a fully engraved crest. Um, all this stuff will be put out um, to y'all, I believe. Let me double check. I think it's October. 22nd is when we're we're meeting with um, all the seniors uh, on campus this Friday we'll be there to collect um, contact cards which your students going to put the information um, just so that we can we can tell you when we're going to be on campus um, and they're also going to include their height and weight um, <clears throat> this sometimes does get confused with they think they're placing an order for the cap and gown by putting the height and weight inf information but this is so you know, especially in times like these in a textile industry to make sure that we have the proper amount of sizes to go for graduation uh, but you will still be responsible for uh, ordering the the graduation products um, that you want the only thing that that that's needed to walk across stage is the cap and gown unit um <clears throat> and and <clears throat> that'll be prevalently posted but you should expect your student to come home with a packet on october 22nd um, I believe the flyer is going to have our contact information as well, and it'll have the website. You can go on the website and order um, if if you don't want to wait till the 22nd. But we'll actually be on campus. Um, this is it's a it's a more fun way because your students will get a lot of the um, what we call pre-delivered items, so T-shirts and hoodies and things like that to represent the class of 2022. We 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 provide those earlier, extra tassels, things like that. Um, but we will place orders for items that have your name on it like the graduation announcement of course the the gown will be custom and and that will be delivered closer to graduation the gown will um just in an effort to not lose things and all that to make sure that we have everyone's in and, and everybody gets it at the same time so again our contact information is there so feel you can call us um we're about 15 minutes door to door from our store to um to the high school so you can come in we're just on the west side at kind of 8 20 in camp Bowie, and the address will be on there as well you're welcome to come in if you want to place uh, uh orders as a family or if you have different questions that that you want um more focused time with we're happy to do that too so but again um, expect your students to come home with uh, a packet on the 22nd and then we are taking orders or i'm sorry they're yeah, the come with the twenty second, and then we're coming back the following week to um, to take orders on. Great. Well, I just want to, thank I you, Corey. To, to Corey, uh, sorry, Darcy. Um, Curve Jones has been great to work with. They do a lot for our, our school and for our students. Um, the biggest point I can give you, parents, um, especially with COVID, is order early. Uh, we want to make sure that we have everything and that there's, um, you know, just enough time that if there is something that goes wrong or things get backed up, um, we can make sure that your child has, has what they need because we certainly don't want anyone to go without or have to wait a long period of time for their product. So, Corey, thank you. You've been great to work with. And parents, if you have any questions, uh, certainly you can reach out to him. Um, and, and to me, and we'll, we'll make sure we get you pointed in the right direction with that, the, those graduation 
uh, kind of topics. Perfect. Thank you very much. Great. So the next thing we're going to talk about is yearbook. So once again, I'm Darcy McCready and I'm our yearbook advisor. If you want to go ahead and purchase your senior their yearbook for this year, I have added the website to the chat and it is just yearbookforever.com. And then you will find Southwest High School and make sure you put Fort Worth, Texas, because there are more than one Southwest High School that's on the website. And then you can purchase their yearbook. We also sell senior ads. So if you would like a page in the yearbook that recognizes your senior, it can have baby pictures, pictures of them through the years, messages from you, other members of your family, then we can do that as well. It's $250 for a full page ad, but it also comes with the yearbook. And then there's other pricing that's on the website for different sizes as you go down. Yearbook ads, we would like to have all of those by February 1st because we have to get them to our yearbook printer. So that's just something to keep in mind. Yearbooks we sell until we sell out, um, but go ahead and if you wanna take care of it now because you'll have more expenses coming through Herf Jones, prom, all those kind of things. So maybe take care of, now this month you could take care of your books and different things as we go along. We will have a senior panoramic that will be later on this semester. It'll be before Christmas and we'll give up the seniors the date for that as well. And that's where the whole se the senior class gets together and has their photo taken. And seniors have to go to Glamourcraft to have their pictures made for the yearbook. And that's because they do a special photo for them, special backdrop. And I'm gonna put the website in the chat for you to go ahead and book your appointment. It doesn't cost anything to have the photo for the yearbook taken. It only would cost if you wanna purchase photos or if you wanna do additional photos. So we have until the end of, after we get back from winter break is when you have to have the photos taken. So get those photos taken by January so that that way um, you have the photo taken for your student. And Glamourcraft is right off of Hewlin, um, kind of near the Brahms on Hewlin, if you're familiar. So we are the closest high school to Glamourcraft, um, which makes it really good. But go ahead and make that appointment now because they will start to fill up because a lot of high schools use them. Um, and then we have... Um, yeah, so I will talk to you specifically about what your questions are um, for the about the extra pages. But so the everyone gets the same exact yearbook. But that and that is everything that is on our list. Any other Southwest faculty staff that would like to say anything to the seniors or our senior parents? I just want to echo, um, you know. There's lots of information, seniors. Uh, we have our radio resource page and we have a parent liaison, Miss um, Summer Cox, and she's on here. Our radio resource page, uh, Miss Fernandez, um, they do an excellent job of making sure the information is kind of on that one stop shop for you. Um, it's way easier to follow along than, than when I was in high school in the Stone Ages. Um, you know, you can go to one place and, and kind of follow through and everything is right there. Nice, nice and easy for you to understand. Again, our Go Center, um, we're, it's a whole center designed to support you and your students. That's it. So take advantage of it. Um, we have great um, TCU College Advisors, um, super proud of, of how that program's expanded to help our community. And again, you know, we want to be a resource for, um, we don't want, want you or your child to have a stressful senior year. We know with COVID and everything going on, there is some, you know, stress that we can't control, but the, the things that we can control, we want to work together to make that happen. I think on that note, um, we'll make sure that we get to your questions that are in the chat. Darcy, as always, you did an amazing job leading us. I want to thank um, Ms. Riley and Ms. Constance for your continued work. Uh, we look forward to a great, great year. And I know that the class of 2022, I can't believe it, is going to be just absolutely outstanding. So again, thank you all for taking uh, time. We'll make sure that we repost uh, this video if you got here late and missed some of it so that you can get caught up with information. That being said, good night, everyone.